Behind the wheel of the car we're driving, we're in a world of ergonomics. How we react to tactical design is the study of ergonomics, and it's part of driving an automobile safer than ever before. A growing nucleus of auto manufacturers feels that the safety of a motor car is deeply rooted in its basic engineering design. One such manufacturer is the British firm that produces the Rover 2000. You won't find a safety engineer here because the company regards all its engineers as safety engineers and their car is cited by experts as one of the safest anywhere. The underlying philosophy is that a safe car is a well-engineered car with concepts that begin on the drawing boards. A car is made up of many systems and how well it operates depends on how well these systems work together. Hours of testing are required and many prototypes are developed before the final model reaches the production line. De Dion rear suspension, radio applied tires and disc brakes provide a first-rate combination of handling, road holding and stopping. All are highly important innovations in the industry, but when they're together in one automobile, as in this Rover, the driver really has something going for him. The driver's ability to handle his vehicle has brought about research in ergonomics. Some results include orthopedically designed seats, strip-type speedometers for rapid reading, controls that can be operated without error, without looking, For the driver's comfort, face level, fresh air ducts. There are no shortcuts to safer automobiles. Indeed, experience has shown the true safety features are designed in long before the prototype rolls out.